Good morning students. This video is for class 4 maths and today also we will continue with area and perimeter. Let us start with exercise 15.2. In the last class I have already explained you all 15.1. Today we will start with 15.2. In 15.2, they have asked you to find out the area of the given figure. What you have to do is that whatever, how many, sorry, how many boxes are enclosed in the given figure. So suppose this is the figure, question number A. So now this is the given figure. How you have to find the area? You will write here area of the given figure is equal to. You count how many squares are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So this will be a 13 square. SQ means short form of square units because they did not give you any unit no centimeter no decimeter nothing so you will write unit if they give you any unit then instead of unit place you will write the whatever unit they give you so just count for question number one and two both just count the number count the number of boxes that are enclosed in the given figure and then only you can find out the answer so like for example if you see f if you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 16. So that will be your 16 square unit. So this is how you found, this is how you find shapes, uh, sorry, area of the given figure. These are regular figures by counting. Now sometimes, like for example, so you all can do exercise 15.2 by just counting the number of squares that are enclosed in the given figure now if you come to if you see if you come to question number uh, exercise number 15.3 they have given you few irregular shape they have given you few irregular shape figure so let us let me show you how you will do 15.3 and then we can finish off our finish off with our slavers because data handling will not come so suppose question number one a Now, if you see properly, you can see two types of square. One is the full square and one is the half square. So, how to find out the area of this given figure when you don't have full square enclosed? How will you do? In this case, you have to write, see. First, you will write number, number of full square then number of more than half square then number 3 number of half square and 4 number of less than half square and then you will add you will automatically get the answer now see full square is how much 1 2 3 4 5 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 full square. And half square is how much? 1, 2, 3, 4. So half square, you will write half into how much it is there? 4. So you will write 4. And more than half square means, if you see, like for example, question number C, you will see curved line where if if the square suppose this example if the square is covered less than half less than half you will consider as number of number of less than half square and if it covers more than half of the box more than half of the box then you will count here number of more than half square so here you don't have more than half square or less than half square so this two will be zero and half multiplied by 4, you will be 2. So, your answer is 12, 10 plus 2, 12 square units. Now, suppose, suppose if there are more than half square, that means the square in which more than the half square is covered, in that case, you will multiply by 1. How many more than half square? Multiply by 1. And how many less square? you will multiply by 0. If there are 5 less square, 5 into 0 is 0 automatically. So, less than half square, we don't count. But more than half square, we take this as 1. So, full square also, we count as 1. More than half square also, we count as 1. Less than half square, we count as 0. We don't count. And half square, how many, whatever the number of half square is, you multiply by 100 and, uh, sorry, you multiply by half and you take the number. So, how, if there are 10, half square so 10 into half is 5 what is the half of 10 5 if there are 20 half of uh, 20 is 10 so we count like this so i hope you can do question number uh, exercise 15.3 also you do question number one question number two you don't have to do so by this we have come to the end of your syllabus please practice this chapter carefully this is very simple and very easy chapter only there are very few questions so start revising children chapter number 16 that is data handling is not going to come in your syllabus so please study this or practice and remember the whole book is going to come except data handling so for today and for this term let us keep it till here all the best children for your exam and if you have any doubt you can ask me during the online classes so for today let us keep it till here thank you children